Alfana Nishwi Alfana Nishwi Nakisu Alfana Nishwi Yesu Alfana Nishwi Nakisu Tuna kuabudu wewe peke yako Alfana Nishwi Nakisu Hebu mpigie Bwana Yesu makofi mazuri jamani. Baba wa mbinguni kwa jina la Yesu Kristo. We bless you this day. Tukubariki siku hii. You are lifted up on high. Exalted above all things. Minuliwa juu ya vitu vyote. Thank you for this opportunity. Asante kwa fursa hii. To share the word of God. Shiriki neno la Mungu. With the people of God. Na watu wa Mungu. Lord we know you gonna bless all of us. Bwana tunajua kwamba unaenda kutubariki sisi From the beginning to the end, oh God. Just like you have blessed us in the singing session. Pray that you bless all of us. Lift all of us to a higher level in the name of Jesus Christ. Every hindrance is taken away in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Abba Father. Heal the sick. Deliver captives. In the name of Jesus Christ. We love you, Lord. We bless you. But there is none like you. In the name of Jesus Christ. We have prayed and believed. Amen. 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 God bless you all. We welcome all of us. Whether you are following us on Facebook, on YouTube, YouTube on number one TV, we want to say welcome. Our teaching today is about Christian deliverance. Christian deliverance. Hallelujah. 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 There are stages of Christian life. Christian life has several stages. You must know that there is confession. And then after confession, then we have the process of deliverance. Now after deliverance, we go to another very important stage that is called sanctification. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And of course after sanctification, there is glorification. There is, uh, 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 there is uh, salvation or confession. And then there is deliverance. And then there is sanctification. And then there is glorification. Those are four important stages in a Christian life. But many Christians are still in stage one. Wengi wa Kristo wako katika wamu ya kwanza. And that's why they are, they are still very weak. Yumana wako dhaifu sana. You need to move to another stage that is called deliverance. Tajika kuingia kifu wango kingine kinaitu wa kukombolewa. Deliverance you have to, to willfully labor to set yourself free. Kumbolewa shariti ujitole muhanga ili uwe kwe huru. From every evil power and influence. Kutokana na kila nguvu zuyulizo ofu na hata there is a wobu. You will go to a stage that we call sanctification. Hada hapo taingia hatua inaitua utakazo. That is being set apart for the Lord. Iyo ni mana kwe kwa kando kwa jili ya Christo. You belong to the Lord alone. Yani wewe metengwa kwa jili ya mungu peke yake. And 
Yeah. After that, there is the final stage that is called as a glorification. You, 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 you begin shining and you begin bearing the image of heaven. Hallelujah. Now what is deliverance? What is Christian deliverance? It is being set apart from ungodly powers, influence, and dominion. Amen. Being set apart from ungodly powers, influence, and dominion. Ni kutengwa kutokana na nguvu ambazo zio za kiungu kutawaliwa na hama kuatherika. Amen. Amina. Praise the name of the Lord. Jina la buwana lipewe sifa. This is what deliverance is all about. Hii ndiyo inamana kulinga kwa jiri ya okombozi. In another very simple definition. Na tafsiri nyingine liyo raisi muno. Deliverance is being let go to serve God. Ni kuacha mambo yote ya toweke ili umtumikie buwana. You be let go, you be set free in order to serve God. Yani ni kuachiliwa ili uweze kumtumikia mungu. Amen. Amina. Now another simple definition. Tafsiri nyingine ya maliyo mraisi muno. Is breaking away from darkness to light. Kuvunja kingo za uovu ili uingie katika nuru You have to break away Mekupaza kuvunja kingo hizo In many instances you have to force your freedom Mara nyingi lazima ulazimishi uhuru wako It brings a picture like an animal that has been tied to a rope To reduce its freedom and movement Hii na leta tuazira mapicha ya le ngomba liyewe kwa kwenye nyukamba ili asiwe na uhuru ama kutafuta na fumalisho. So that this animal can only eat what the owner wants and the area in which the owner wants. Ngombe huyu anatawaliwa kiwango kwamba atalikuwa na malisho tu mahali ambapo alie mweka pale analivyo amua akai. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Jina la buwana lipewe sifa. Very quickly there are secrets you must know about deliverance. Maraka sana kuna siri unahitajika kusifahamo kuhusu ukombozi. There are things you must know. Kuna mambo sharitu kayajue. Number one deliverance is a continuous process. Sharitu ya kwanza ni kwamba ukombozi ni hatua inasafari na yoen it is never a hit and run process. It is a continuous process. There are levels of deliverance. For example, deliverance from sin, you will discover there are people who have conquered one sin and they are still trying to conquer the other. Mfano kukombolewa kutokana na dhambi unapata mtu moja amekombolewa kutokana na dhambi aina ya fulani lakini bado hajakombolewa katika sehemu fulani. So there are stages of deliverance. Basi kuna hatua katika ukombozi. So uh, deliverance is a continuous process. Safari ya ukombozi ni hatua ya kuendelea. The more you pray the more you are delivered. Namna unavyoendelea kuomba kadiri unavyokombolewa. The more you fast and pray the more you are delivered. Bila unavyozidi kuomba na kufunga hivyo ndivyo unakombolewa zaidi. The more you gain teachings of the Bible the more you are you are delivered. Kadiri unavyoendelea kupokea mafundisho ya Biblia hivyo ndivyo unapata kukombolewa. The more you walk in the counsel of your spiritual mentor the more you are delivered. Namna unavyo Enda katika shauri la mlezi wako wa kiroho hivyo ndivyo napata uhuru wako. The more you give to God, the more you are delivered. Na vyo peana kwa mungu saidi hivyo ndivyo na vyo we kwa huru sana. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That is secret number one you must know. Hiyo ni siri ya kwanza wa itaji kufahamu. Secret number two, the best deliverance comes when we give our lives to Christ. Siri ya pili kwamba ukombozi bora hutufikia wakati tunatoa maisha yetu kwa Kristo. And grow in the relationship with Christ. Tuendele kukua katika umahusiano yetu na Kristo. When we give our lives to him, tunapompeana maisha yetu kwa We begin deliverance. Basi tunaanza safari ya ukombolewa. As we grow in him, 
we, we are set free the more. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Christ demands a relationship. Many people uh, give him burdens, but they don't care about their relationship with Christ. But he, he wants a relationship with you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are reading Matthew chapter 11 verse 28. Matthew chapter 11 verse 28 to 30. This is what the Bible says. This verse will clearly tell you that Christ demands a relationship. The more you relate with him, the, the more he sets you free. The Bible says, come unto me all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Verse number 29, take my yoke upon you, and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest under your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. Joni kwangu ninyi mnao sumbuka. Kulemewa na miziko na mini tawapumuzisha. Jitieni nira yangu, mjifunze kwangu, kwa kuwa mimi ni mpole na mnyenye kefu wa moyo, na nyi mutapata raha na msini mwenu. Kwa mana nira yangu dilaini, na mziko wangu ni mwepesi. Amen. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Jina la buwana litukuzwe. So he tells us, come unto me. Hivi anasema njoni kwangu. Come unto me. Njoni kwangu. He desires that we go unto him. Anatamane kwamba sisi tumwende. Because he wants a relationship with him. Kwa kuwa yeye anatafuta uhusiano pamoja na ye. The same is repeated in Isaiah chapter 1 verse number 18. He says, come and let us reason together. Let us reason together. In other words, I will tell you what I want, and I will also want to know what you want. And we will reach an agreement and begin relating with one another. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. So secret number two is that the best deliverance comes when we give our lives to Christ and grow in relationship with him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Now the third secret you must know is you must be tired of the burdens. A man who is not tired of the burdens, a man who is still enjoying the labor in darkness, does not mind deliverance. Amen. The Bible says, ye who labor and are heavy laden, so in other words you have to discover that you are carrying burdens and you have to discover that you are laboring so much and yet there is either nothing or a little fruit and production. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Another thing you must know is that the yoke of the Lord is easy. 
kwamba nira ya Mungu ama nira ya Bwana Yesu ni nyepesi and the burden is light na mziko wake ni mwepesi on the other hand kwa maneno mengine the yoke of the devil is heavy 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 nira ya adui ni nzito amen amina and the yoke of the enemy is very very tough na nira ya yule adui ni sugu mbaya sana amen amina praise the name of the lord jina la bwana lipewe you sifa. must discover that the burden of the lord is light because you do not you do not carry alone he has given you the grace hallelujah hallelujah praise the name of the lord now number four secret about deliverance uh, uh, the, the best deliverance comes when we receive god's word and begin having and begin living according to the word of god kombozi hutufikia kwa njia bora wakati tunalipokea neno la mungu na tunaanza kuishi kadiri ya ile neno linavyotuagiza yes there are people that can lay hands on others for deliverance ndio kuna watu wanaweza wekea mikono watu wengine wapate ukombozi even i have laid hands on many people for deliverance hata kasisi amewekea watu wengi mikono wapate kukombozi but i have discovered that the best deliverance lakini amekwisha kundua kwamba ukombozi bora is when we receive the word of god wakati tunalipokea neno la mungu and we begin living according to the word of god hata kuishi sawa na neno la mungu this will bring a permanent deliverance Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Being laid hand on will force deliverance. But there will be a challenge of transition. Transitioning from the, the life you have been living, a life of struggling, a life of living without uh, living in a sinful way to a life of living without sin hamisho kutoka maisha iliyokuwa imejawa dhambi umekaa ukiishi katika maisha ya dhambi kubadilishwa kuingia maisha ambayo haina dhambi amen amen praise the name of the lord jina la bwana lipewe sifa we are reading john chapter 8 verse number 31 to 32 soma kitabu cha yohana sura ya 8 mstari wa 31 na 32 john chapter 8 verse number 31 to 32 tabu ni yohana 8 Then said Jesus to those Jews which believed on him if ye continue in my word then are ye my disciples indeed and ye shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free Basi Yesu akawaambia wale wa Yahudi waliomwamini ninyi mkikaa katika neno langu mmekuwa mwanafunzi wangu kweli kweli tena mtaifahamu kweli na hiyo kweli itawaweka huru amen amina praise the name of the lord jina la bwana lipewe sifa the word of god is 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 the truth and the truth will make us free neno la mungu ni kweli na ile kweli itatuweka huru amen amina now numbers 6 uh, number 5 or 6 many bondages hide behind lack of knowledge Siri nambari 5 ni kwamba ile mateka ama mitego nyingi huwa inachificha nyuma ya ukosefu wa ufahamu. Many bondages afflicting mankind they hide behind lack of knowledge about God and about the devil. Nyingi ya vifungo ambazo zinawateza wanadamu zinatokana na kukosa ufahamu kuhusu Mungu au kulingana kukosa kufahamu mbinu za adui shetani. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. No wonder those who are members of Illuminati they are trained to keep secrets. Si ajabu wale wanaofuata kuabudu za shetani wamefundishwa kwa ustadi kwamba wafiche siri. Amen. Amina. This is to make sure that those they bind do not discover and seek deliverance hiyo inamaanisha kwamba wale ambao wanategwa nyara wasiweze kufikia ufahamu ili wapate kuwekwa huru so many bondages they hide they hide behind lack of knowledge about god and the devil 
nyingi ya mateka huwa zinajificha nyuma ya ukosefu wa ufahamu kumuhusu Mungu au shimbinu za shetani. Book of Hosea chapter 4 verse number 6. Mjibu wa Hosea sura ya 4 mstari wa 6. The Bible says my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Leo nasema watu wangu wanaangamia kwa kukosa maarifa. Because thou has rejected knowledge I will also reject thee. Kwa kuwa umekataa sheria yangu nami nitakukataa. And thou shall not be priest and Nanyi hamuta kuwa makuhani kwangu mimi Hallelujah Seeing that thou hast forgotten the law of my God I will also forget thy children Kwa kuwa umeisahau sharia ya mungu wangu Mungu wako na mimi tawasahau wana watoto wako. So lack of knowledge is already a dangerous thing. Basi kukosa maarifa tayari ni kitu hatari mno. Is a, a thing that will cause destruction to many people. Jambo ambalo litasababisha maangamizi makubwa kwa watu wengi. Many people who are Christians they don't have time to sit down and study the, the word of God and learn the word of God. Wengi wa Kristo hawana wakati wa kukaa chini na kulisoma neno na kulitafakari neno. So gives, this gives the devil a loophole and it gives a free a field of operation. Basi hii humpa shetani mahali pa kukanyakia na humpa fursa ya pekee ya kutesa watu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Jina la Bwana lipewe sifa. May the Lord help you. Omba Mungu akusaidie to have time for God. Ili uwe na muda kwa ajili ya Mungu. And time for the word of God. Muda kwa ajili ya neno la Mungu. Time to learn the word of God. Muda wa kulisoma neno la Mungu. Sometimes I wonder because many Christians they love preachings. Watu wengine hata na wa Kristo wengi wakati mwingi na shangaa kwa kuwa wanapenda mahubiri. But the truth of the matter is a born again Christian requires more teachings than uh, than preachings. Kenu kweli wa neno kwamba ni Kristo aliyesaliwa mara ya pili anahitaji mafundisho sana kuliko mahubiri. Haleluya. Haleluya. So seek to know God. Basi tafuta kumjua Mungu. And then also seek to know about the devil. Tafadhali pia tafuta kujua kumuhusu pia shetani. Amen. Amina. Praise the name of the Lord. Jina la Bwana lipewe sifa. Number 7. Siri nambari saba. It is possible to conduct self deliverance. Nawezekana ukafanya ukombozi wa kibinafsi. But there are there are risks involved. Lakini pia kuna hatari zinazohusika. It, it is possible to have self deliverance. Nawezekana ujifanyie ukombozi wa kibinafsi. But there are risks involved. Lakini kuna hatari ambayo inahusika. Especially if you start be, uh, you begin dealing with a strong man. Hasa hasa unapoanza kukabiliana na mtu mwenye nguvu. You begin dealing with a principality. Naanza kungangana na ngome. Sometimes you may be overpowered. Wenda wakati mwingine ukalemewa. And sometimes you may be destroyed. Ama pengine ukaribiwa. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I have no better example other than the sons of Skeva. Sina mfano ulio bora kuliko ule wa wana wa Skeva. They were not priests and doing the work of God but they began to do deliverance and cast out devils wana wasikawa hawakuwa mahukuhani ama watumishi nao ni wapunga pepo wakajaribu kutaja jina la mwana yesu juu ya waliopagawa na pepo wachafu wakisema na wapisha kwa jina kwa yesu kristo anayehubiriwa na paulo walikuwa walikuweko wana saba wa mtu mmoja sikewa mjahudi kuhani mkuu waliofanya hivyo yule pepo mchafu akawajibu kawaambia Yesu namjua na Paulo namfahamu lakini nyinyi nani na yule mtu aliyepagawa na pepo mchafu akawarukia wawili akawaweza akawashinda hata akawakatoka mbio katika nyumba ile hali wa uji wa kujeruhiwa Amen. Amen. Verse 14 and there were seven sons of one Skeva a Jew and a chief of the priests which did so. And the evil spirit answered and said Jesus I know and Paul I know but who are you? Number 16 and the man in whom the evil spirit was leaped on them and overcame them and prevailed against them so that they fled out of the house naked and wounded. 
Hari Zubas 14, 15 and 16. Ni mstari wa kumina ne kumina tano hati wa kumina sita. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In very brief, the, the sons of Skeva were imitating Paul as he was doing deliverance. Kwa maneno machache kwamba wana wa Skeva walikuwa wana jaribu kumuhika Paul alipo kuwa natuwa mapepo. And they were sons of a priest. They were also trying to imitate their father. Walikuwa wana wa kuhani pia walikuwa na jaribu kumuhika baba yao. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So you know deliverance is, is, is battling with demons and evil powers. Najua kombozi ni kupakabiliana na mapepo na ngubu za giza. Deliverance is not not playing football. Deliverance is combating the enemy. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. It is very important that you have an authority when deliverance is being conducted. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And this is especially true when it comes to to violent deliverance. Amen. Amen. Now another very important secret you have to know about deliverance is that the person leading deliverance has to be a lot. You have to be watchful. And please stop uh, uh, casting out devils when you are closing your eyes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. They will teach you a, a lesson you will never forget. Praise the name of the Lord. I have saved my nose twice. <laughs> ever, ever since I began conducting deliverance very very tough blows just passed some, some, some few inches away from my nose hallelujah. hallelujah so please you need to be watchful you man of God, you need to be watchful. You man of God, be watchful during deliverance. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because you are, you, are, you, are, you, are, you are overthrowing a spirit that has, res, that has resided in that body for ages. And sometimes we come and in most of most cases we come with the fire of the Holy Ghost. And the fire burns and burns every demon. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. The so demons may not just sit and watch. They will react and they will react. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. I, I remember on one occasion my coat was torn so please do this work when you are alert hallelujah hallelujah praise the name of the Lord praise the name of the Lord amen, amen. now number number eight secret number nine are pushing people and manipulating them to fall down all the time is not deliverance. It is not a must that a, a person must fall. It is a, it's not a must that he who is not falling, you have to push him until he falls. This is drama, drama. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In fact, one eye opener I can give you. 
If you see any minister, any preacher who prays for everybody and causes everybody to fall, is a fake one. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He doesn't have the, 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 the deliverance ministry. Yeye hana and he doesn't have the true gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. 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 Sometimes demons fly away even when people are still strong and standing. In fact, being slain is a sign that somebody was, was demon possessed. If you pray for a, or a sick person who is Holy Ghost filled, he, he doesn't have to fall down for deliverance. Because being slain is, is, is actually exchanging evil powers for God's power. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now our secret number nine you need to know. Salvation is free. But deliverance is costly. Salvation is free of charge. But deliverance is costly. Sometimes it will cost an offering. Sometimes it can cost you an offering, a very good offering. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mary Magdalene had to give an expensive oil for her to be delivered from a bad name and from sinful life. So salvation may be free, but deliverance is costly. I remember when I did deliverance, I, I had to fast for over 30 days. And when I finished that fasting, I discovered many, many burdens had fallen away. Hallelujah. So deliverance is costly. Christians who pray and fast they quickly get deliverance. Amen. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. It may cost you your time of studying the word of God. It may cost you your time of employment for you to be free and it is worthy it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now number number 10 Confession of sins is not the only way of deliverance. It's the beginning of deliverance. Confession of sins is not the, 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 the only way of deliverance. It is the beginning of deliverance. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because it opens you up and and the benefit that is called mercy. Proverbs 28 verse number 13. The Bible says, He who conceals his sins shall not prosper. But he who confesses them shall find mercy. Kwa mujibu wa mithali sura ya shura nane aya kuminatatu. Bilia nasema kwamba. Anaye ficha dhambizake hata fanikiwa. Amen. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. So confession is the beginning. Confession of sins is the beginning. A Christian who walks in sin and every time comes to comes to confess his sins and confess his sins. 
will never overcome that sin. Mkristo ambaye anaongea kwenye dhambi na mara anakuja kukiri ile dhambi akirudia rudia si rahisi kuishinda ile dhambi. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Confession is the beginning of deliverance. Kukiri dhambi ndio chanzo cha ukombozi. Number 11 church commitment is not a guarantee that you are free. Basi ya 11 ni kwamba kujitolea mhanga kufanya kazi kufika kanisani haimaanishi kwamba wewe uko huru. You can be an intercessor, you can be a preacher, you can be a teacher, you can be a bishop, you can be a reverend, you can but it doesn't guarantee you freedom. Wenda wewe ni mwombezi, wenda wewe ni mwimbaji, wenda wewe ni askofu ama mwombezi ama mhubiri hiyo haikuhakikishi ukombozi haleluya haleluya being uh, uh, being a friend of pastor or bishop does not guarantee you that Kwa you are free wa askofu ama mchungaji hiyo sio hakikisho tosha kwamba uko huru haleluya haleluya praise the name of the lord jina la bwana lipewe sifa because of time i can give you this story acts chapter 16 verse 16 to 18 wajiba sababu ya muda ni atawapatia hii hadithi katika Matendo ya mitume sura ya 16 ya 16 hadi ya 18 You will find a young woman utakumbana that, that began walking with Paul. Kwenye hadithi hii utakutana na mwanamke mjanga aliyekuwa ameanza kutembea pamoja na Paulo mtume. But she had the spirit of divination. Kini yeye alikuwa na pepo utambuzi. Everywhere they went she would introduce the servants of God. Mara walipo kila mara walipoenda alianza kuwatambulisha watumishi wa Mungu. She would say these are servants of God they are true servants of God. Alisema hawa ni watumishi wa Mungu watumishi wa kweli wa Mungu. But she had the spirit of divination. Lakini alikuwa na pepo la utambuzi. And apostle Paul had to cast out the spirit of divination and the, the spirit of divination left her hallelujah 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 praise the name of the lord now bondages are like uh, when when a man is in bondage is like a cow that is tight and is ready for slaughter Mtu akiwa katika kifungo inafananishwa na ile ngombe iliyofungwa na inapelekwa majinjioni. Amen. Amina. It's just a matter of time. Ni muda tu. Uh, if you, you 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 are bound you are you are struggling with a certain bondage it means at one time or another if you don't break away you will be slaughtered. Basi ikiwa umefungwa na uko katika kifungo cha aina fulani ni muda tu maana baadaye uta wa kisu na kuchinjwa. Haleluya. Haleluya. Now very quickly let us mention some of the things that require deliverance. Basi kwa haraka sana tutaje baadhi ya vitu vinavyohitajika ukombozi. In our next edition of our teachings we will look at them one by one. Panapo ile sehemu nyingi ifuatayo ya mafundisho yetu tutaanza kuzunguzia kila moja kwa muda wake. Number one, we need deliverance from curses. Kitu cha kwanza ambacho wahitajika kuombolewa nacho ni kile inaitwa laana. A Christian requires to be delivered from a curse. Kristo anahitajika kuombolewa kutokana na laana. There are many signs of curses in, in, in a believer's life. Kuna dalili nyingi zinazoashiria laana katika maisha ya mwaminio. We will look at them at a later stage. Tutaangalia kwa muda utakao kuja baadaye. Number two thing you must be delivered from is sin. Ya pili ambayo Mkristo anahitajika kuombolewa kwayo ni dhambi. Sin makes you to be of the devil dhambi na kufanya unakuwa wa ibilisi first first john chapter 3 verse 8 the bible says whoever committed sin is of the devil yohana wa kwanza sura ya 3 aya 8 inasema yeyote atendaye dhambi ni wa shetani so you must be delivered from all sins nikupasa ukombolewe kwa dhambi zote number three thing you must be delivered from is demon Kitu tatu ambacho wahitajika kuwekwa huru kutokana nacho ni mapepo. These are agents of the devil. Hawa ni mawakala wa shetani. As long as they are in your life they will carry out the agenda of their master. Limradi tu wako katika maisha yako yataendelea kutenda ile agenda ya adui ya ya, 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 ya bwana wao. Number four, we have evil soul ties. 
Amen. Amen. When we look at this, we will be looking at things like spirit husbands. Spirit husband or spirit wives. Or evil friends that the enemy uses to monitor your life and ensure you do not succeed and do the will of God. Also being married to a, a, a partner that is not godly is a dangerous tie. Number five thing we will look at is evil covenants. Number six we will look at strongholds. Strongholds. Number seven we will look at evil family patterns. And then we have number eight, evil family inheritance. And then we have number nine, satanic or demonic names. There are names that are satanic. Kuna majina ilio ya kishetani. And, and, and uh, names that are given by way of inheritance. Majina ya nayo pewa kwa njia ya urithi. They are, most of them are satanic. They carry the spirit of the bearer of the name. Mengi ya haya majina ni ya kishetani. Ya napata, ya nabeba ile uhushano wa maroho ya yule mtu alie kuwa na ile jina kwanza. Number 10 is our modern challenge. It's called Illuminati. Mbari kumi ni ile changamoto ya kisasa inaito Illuminati. Illuminati and sometimes uh, we call it Freemason. Illuminati wakati mungine tunaita ile Freemason. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And then we will look at witchcraft. That is number 11. Mbari kumi na moja tangalia uchawi. And then we will look at number 12, sorcery and divination. At the end of the day, I know the Lord will bless you. And the Lord will set you free from every bondage. And the Lord will set you on a path to success and, and a fruitfulness. And above all, you will begin walking on a journey to eternal joy and happiness. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God bless you all. Amen. We are praying now. Sasa hivi. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. Baba jina la Christ. Thank you for your word this, this day. Kwa jili ya neno lako siku hii. We love you and we bless you because of our listeners and viewers. May you prepare them adequately for this wonderful uh, lesson called deliverance. Let every captive be set free in the name of Jesus Christ. Every prisoner be liberated in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every sickness be healed in the name of Jesus Christ. Every demon shall be uprooted in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we bless you. Father, we love you. Because you are building up the church. 
Bwana unajenga kanisa. Yeah, I define the church. Unajenga kanisa na kuifanya imara. I'm making it stronger than ever. Na kuadhibiti kuliko ilivyokuwa. In the name of Jesus Christ. Jina la Yesu Kristo. Father we love you. Baba tukupenda. And Father we bless you. Baba tukubariki. There is none like him. Hakuna wa kufananishwa na wewe. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Jina kula Yesu Kristo. We pray and believe. Kwa hata kuamini. Amen. Amina. God bless you so much. Mungu abariki sana. Shalom and shalom. Amani na amani. Hakuna wa kufanana na Yesu. Hakuna wa kufanana. Eh hakuna wa kufanana na Yesu. Hakuna wa kufanana. Ah hakuna wa kufanana na Bwana. Hakuna wa kufanana. Fanana na Yesu Hakuna kufanana na Yesu Oh yeah yeah anaweza Yeah anaweza Yeah anaweza Hakuna wa kufanana na Bwana yeah anaweza Yeah anaweza Yeah anaweza Hakuna wa kufanana Bwana tu Oh, I'm a pepper, and I'm a tambour. I'm a pepper, and I'm a tambour.